Hello ladies, good afternoon. This is Laurel, the 21 day fibroid fix. Your flower child coming at you. Fibroid flower child Laurel right here. And I just have a quick and short video to make for you guys uh, today. I don't wanna inundate you every week with an hour long video of um, vegan deliciousness. So today will be really short and sweet. We're just gonna make some vegan milk. Um, I was inspired by Cindy's video um, and she was showing how she was going to pick up, I think, some almond milk or some coconut milk at the market. And I'll do that in a pinch, um, but if, if I have time, I'll just go ahead and I'll make some, some of my own milk in our trusty Vitamix back there. Uh, it is an investment that I have not regretted for one day. I was told to uh, get a Vitamix when I joined the Fibroid Healing Academy or, or some sort of high-powered blender, and I had wanted a Vitamix for years, so I went ahead and, and got one. I got mine through Williams Sonoma, uh, and they didn't charge me anything extra than what uh, I, I would have been charged had I gone through, you know, Vitamix.com or something. Um, and honestly... I even found, <laughs> after the fact, I found the same price Vitamix at Target. So there you go. Uh, there's a little foot, footwork done for you in advance. If you don't have a high-powered blender, I recommend a Vitamix. I would do things a little differently next time. Uh, I would get a bigger uh, carafe or pitcher, whatever they call it. Um, I got the smaller version because I knew I was just going to be mostly using it personally, not for the whole family, but uh, I do so much cooking and vegan cooking that I use the Vitamix every day, and when I make a batch of smoothies, I sort of have to adjust Cindy's recipes uh, and then add water to it because I have too small of a carafe. She has the larger size. Anyways, um, I'm off on a tangent about Vitamixes, but I love them. I recommend them. Um, and for making some vegan milk, getting back on track. Uh, I just, I, I've been doing this for so long, for so many years. Uh, I've been raised by hippies and I, the family went vegan when I was 11 years old. So back in the eighties. <laughs> so, uh, I didn't really have a recipe. A lot of times what I'm finding is I'll just show you guys what I make and then I'll, I'll Google it or I'll look on YouTube YouTube just to sort of confirm and, and make sure I'm doing doing things right or you know to see if there's an easier way you know because as time goes by with the more of us eating a plant-based diet or a vegan diet uh, we're figuring out some really delicious you know alternatives to to uh, a meat or a dairy in our diet um, so to start with we start with all walnuts this time it could be almonds it could be sunflower seeds i've actually been using sunflower seeds for a few months now as my milk replacement base just because they've been on sale um, but walnuts were on sale a few weeks ago at sprouts and i just love walnuts i absolutely adore walnuts um, i recommend getting them raw getting them as whole or half but the wholer the food, the better, uh, and the fresher the nut will be. Um, and if you can do organic, of course, that's always best. Um, but yeah, they were on sale, I think, for like five fifty dollars or five ninety nine. dollars So I went ahead and got a couple of pounds of walnuts. And I have had some walnuts here. I got about a cup of walnuts, and it's been soaking for a few hours, what I would recommend, the easiest way to do it is to just soak your nut or your seed overnight. Um, you know, depending on how large the nut or the seed is or how dense it is might determine how long you need to soak it for. So you might wanna like go ahead and Google what's, you know, the best length of time, but overnight is what I would recommend typically for making some milk. and. Honestly, if you don't have time to soak your nuts, it's really okay. Uh, I think I, I said that in an earlier video. I often, 
I often forget to soak my seeds or my nuts and that's you know something that I've just had to like okay we're just gonna forge ahead and see how it turns out and my recipes tend to turn out just fine again a high powered blender is probably a good secret to not you know when you're not soaking it's okay because the blender is just mashing everything up so beautifully so I'm just gonna drain off this water that it was soaking in And they've plumped up a little bit, but that's about a cup of walnuts. And I've got two cups, two cups of water. And I do have it cold water. I'm, I'm not sure if, you know, you might want to try experimenting and seeing if hot water works better or if cold water works better. I know that there's different results that you'll get you'll get when using different bases for your vegan milk, such as uh, oat milk. So I was looking on YouTube earlier um, for a good oat milk recipe, and I didn't really realize that there's a little more planning that goes into making some oat milk. Um, I do love it. It tastes like the milk after you've eaten all your Cheerios. Uh, and so if you like that taste of that milk, I highly recommend making some oatmeal and or oat milk <laughs> and it's not that difficult, um, but there is a trick to it because oatmeal or oats have a slimy quality to them. There's, there's something you can do. Uh, I think you can add some enzymes to it to take out the sliminess and to make it just um, less gooey. Anyways, we're not gonna go ahead and make oat milk today. With the walnut milk, it's so much easier. I just take about a quart. This is about three and a half to four cups of water. And then I'm gonna do about two tablespoons of raw agave syrup. I do recommend the raw as opposed to um, just the regular agave syrup. Um, I've personally noticed that uh, I feel a less sugary feeling uh, in, in my system. It seems to be a lower glycemic index, and I'm not sure if, if that's actually true, but for me personally, that's how it feels. So I, I don't go with agave syrup. I only go with the raw agave syrup. And a dash of salt and of course um, I recommend the pink Himalayan salt uh, it's gonna have some extra minerals and magical goodness in there and it is a little saltier than typical table salt as well so you don't need as much and then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend that up and uh, I recommend watching a video uh, I saw Dr. Sebi. So, some people made a video based on Dr. Sebi's diet or alkaline diet uh, and so I'll post a link to that YouTube video in the comments um, but they had a ninja blender and they blended for about a minute I don't think we need to go that far and unfortunately we're live their their video wasn't live so you didn't have to bear with their blending but please bear with my blending.
there we have it. There's our walnut milk. Now I am gonna pour this through a strainer. Um, you can use a sieve, what's really recommended with Vitamix, I haven't gone ahead and bought yet, but um, a nut milk bag is a really fine mesh strainer bag and you'll see that used um, in the Dr. Sebi people's video uh, when they make walnut milk. Hey Janice, how's it going? Thanks for watching. We're just uh, finishing up making some walnut milk. And so I've got, well, got the milk all blended, ready to go. I've got my strainer, got my original jar. Can you guys see me? Where can I be that you can see this? Can you see that? Yes, you can. And I'm just gonna strain it. And the awesome thing about straining your nut milk is that you can actually keep the pulp for recipes. It, it works as a good flour replacement. And so this would work maybe in muffins or cakes. And so I'm just gonna use a spoon and just sort of slowly sort of let the, the fluid drain through, but I'm gonna pull the pulp over to the side so that this sieve can keep working. I can show you what we have. We've got some milk here. Some people recommend pouring it through the nut milk bag twice if you're if you're really picky about pulp and you don't want these leftover bits and flecks of the walnut meat in your milk. Then go ahead and strain it twice or use your nut milk bag and strain it again. I personally don't mind it. I think it makes the milk kind of creamier and so I happen to like leaving the pulp at the bottom of my milk bottle and just sort of shaking it up and getting some pulp and some walnut meat in my milk but I just want to show you guys how this can be done and it's really pretty easy if I had a nut milk bag I could even squeeze it and sort of strain the milk out of the bag and be done in no time Now, if this were oat milk, it would last about a week because this isn't a grain, because this is made out of a raw nut base, I would recommend that this would last only about five days. And I'll show you because this is Steve's birthday, I made a vegan cake. I made a vegan cake yesterday for Linda's birthday. I guess I know a lot of Libras, but it's definitely a rich chocolate cake that I made. And so it's going to be awesome to have a glass of milk with our cake. That's it. We're done. I have a quart of milk ready to go for the next five days. You can see maybe a tiny little bit of bubbles at the top and then the rest is milk. Like I said, if you're really particular, you might want to strain it twice. I'm kind of a little more crunchy, so I don't mind the pulp in my milk. And that's it. Are you ready to see the cake now that we're going to have milk with later? Okay. I can't eat the cake this this early. It's not my birthday. But I'll show you the cake. Can you see it? I can't see the camera, so I'm hoping I'm showing you the cake. We've got some raspberry puree to go with it. That's what we're going to be having the milk with later. But for now, got to try a little bit of the milk. Hmm. 
got my pretty little dragonfly teacup. I've got the rest of the milk that was left in the Vitamix carafe, and I'm not going to bother straining it. Like I said, I'm a flower child. I don't mind it crunchy. But again, I'm joking. It's not crunchy. That's, that's, I'm just being funny. It's, it's definitely not crunchy. It won't be mealy. It's delicious milk. Cheers. Mmm, that's wonderful. Agave is the trick. That's it, ladies. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Have a good evening, goddesses. See you soon.